What does resilience mean to me? It means that you can cope with the things life throws at you. You can cope with the things that being a doctor throws at you without panicking, remaining professional and without damaging yourself as you work. I think for me, uh, resilience is about um, the capacity to cope with uh, change, pressure and uncertainty. For me, resilience means two things. One, the ability to cope with, to withstand adversity. Uh, the second is also about being able to take a more optimistic, a more positive approach to work, to life. I think doctors do remit need to be more resilient now than they were 20 years ago. I think that the pressures are different. I think that the regulation is more intense and the autonomy is far more reduced than it ever has been. I suspect doctors always felt under pressure, but I think there's different kinds of pressure and I think we need to be training people more appropriately to deal with that so they can manage throughout their careers. How can we create a more supportive culture f for doctors, and I guess I'm thinking particularly of doctors in training, but I'm sure that could apply to more senior colleagues as well. Um, well, I think there's a lot of uh, work uh, around mentoring, educational supervision and generally um, the principles of education, i.e. supportive challenge rather than critical comment. Um, I, I think we, we, we are more vigilant now if we see a colleague who appears to be struggling. I think we've got better mechanisms for identifying and then supporting those colleagues as well. We talk a lot about culture and about supportive culture. And there is a responsibility that leaders and managers have, but we have a responsibility ourselves. The, the, my favourite analogy for, for culture is a traffic jam. When we all sit in a traffic jam, we complain about all the, all the traffic around us. We are the traffic. We are the culture. The way we behave towards each other sets culture, as well as the way in which our leaders behave. I think striking the balance between being resilient and compassionate is definitely um, an issue that needs to be teased out because I think you can give the impression that what you're looking for is superhuman beings that do not uh, suffer in any emotional way from the environment they're exposed to and, and the challenges that are set to them that they can't always meet. Um, but the reality is that we're all human beings and uh, that one needs to be talked through in, in a range of scenarios uh, and accepting human fallibility and weakness and, and interdependence I think is key to that.